Hi, and welcome to another Heaven Man Earth podcast. Today we're talking about the path of Tai Chi, and, or better said, the Tai Chi as a spiritual path. Because Tai Chi is seen as a martial arts, most of it, but it's actually, there's a deeper level regarding that. Um, so let's talk about your earliest memory of starting Tai Chi. Well, I first started because my external Kung Fu teacher said that I should do Tai Chi, and I said, yes, Sifu, like I always said to him, it's the only thing you ever need to say to them. So I just did it. He said, do Tai Chi, it's like putting dollars in the bank for later. As I trained further and further, certain things about the external Kung Fu caused problems. It wasn't fitting in with what I wanted, pathwise, meditation and so on. So I thought, well, I need to keep training. How do I make this work? So I focus more on Tai Chi. Uh, yeah, it was just the Kung Fu, because Tai Chi is Kung Fu, that to me seemed more compatible with the spiritual path. Uh, many people talk about Tai Chi being Qigong and meditation. Uh, what are your comments about that? Yeah, the problem with these terms is they get thrown around like loosely, which is okay. What really matters is what your teacher means when he uses these terms. It's not about checking the dictionary term. However, if we don't have any frame of reference, the words lose all meaning. So people say Tai Chi is meditation. Well, I've talked about this before. No. Samadhi is meditation. Or What's Samadhi? Uh, mental absorption, true stillness, single-pointed stillness. The union of the knowing quality with the energy of the mind. Uh, subject, object, union. But Tai Chi, of course, we're not doing that, we're moving. So if you're moving, you're not single-pointed. You can't move physically and be in that absolute state at the same time. So meditation, no. Is it mindful practice? Is it a practice of awareness? Yes. But in my terminology, that's not meditation, not meditation proper. It's part of developing the mind, yes. And developing the mind to lead towards meditation, yes. So then people say, Tai Chi is Qigong, but Qigong is not yet Tai Chi. What that is pointing towards is the idea of that, of course, you're working with the Qi, you're moving the Qi around, so therefore Tai Chi is Qigong, that's true. But Qigong is not yet Tai Chi because not all Qigong is working yin-yang and it doesn't have the martial aspect and all that. So that's sort of a common view. My view on this is that when you begin Tai Chi, it's none of those things, it's just really silly, simple movement, not even good exercise. In fact, Tai Chi is the worst exercise in the world if you're not doing the internal work, right? You're better off doing swimming, aerobics, jogging, yoga, anything. Anything is better than Tai Chi Chuan. Without the internals, it's useless. Maybe you learn how to get a bit of balance if you're really old or something like that, which has value, but it's basic. So then you get a little better until your movement, the shape, the actual external movement, moves the chi inside your body. So that the outside is leading the inside. The outside is active, the chi is passive. It gets moved via the outside. So this is what qigong is. Qigong is when the movement moves the chi, right? the movement and breath. So in that stage, yes, Tai Chi is Qigong. Then you develop further, hopefully, until the Shen Yi Qi, the internals, are moving the body. So now the mind and Qi is active and the body is passive. So the Qi is moving the body. Then it has become Nagel. So first Tai Chi is Qigong. Well, first it's nothing. Then it's Qigong. Then it's Nagel. Ultimately, at the highest levels, 
it's alchemical, but we don't need to worry about that. Just getting up to the Neigong is pretty good going. Mm. So you understand what I'm saying. There's a difference between the outside leading the inside and the inside leading the outside. Or the body moving the chi around, or the chi moving the body around. So this is like phases of practice as you progress. What is your definition of mindfulness? Mindfulness means to keep the mind full of something. So the quality of recollection or to keep something on the mind. So if you're being mindful of the body, it means that you don't forget about the mind. You constantly recollect, keep the awareness on the body. That would be mindfulness of body. If you're mindful of sensation, right? then the mind is full of awareness of sensations. You never forget your sensations. You don't forget sensation and jump out to sights, sounds, or whatever. That would be losing mindfulness of sensation. So mindfulness is just that ability to recollect and keep the mind full of something. Mindfulness these days is touted as something positive, and uh, people are using it I think with psychology and stuff like that. And the more they do this, the more they're going to find out that there's problems with this because mindfulness is not innately positive. Right mindfulness is positive. Mindfulness is just a mental quality. So a sniper has amazing mindfulness. They're not distracted. Their mind is full of the target. Right? Race car driver, they have exceptional mindfulness while they're racing, but it's not the same thing that we're looking for when we're talking about spiritual development, developing the mind, and so on. You need to have right mindfulness. So it's not just being mindful, it's why you're being mindful, what you're being mindful of, like that. Could you give some examples of good, positive mindfulness and things that, um, maybe practices of things to be mindful of whilst doing Tai Chi or being on the spiritual path? Oh, it's very simple. This, your body, your mind, that is all. So your mindfulness should be internal. Internal means inside. Inside your experience, which is all happening here. Right? So to be mindful of the body, mindful of sensation, of chi, of mind stuff, things happening in the mind. Potentially mindful of mind itself, but you need samadhi to achieve that mindful of mindfulness, mindful of awareness. So it's about everything that's happening here inside. That's what you would call right mindfulness. Wrong mindfulness is external mindfulness. Right mindfulness is internal mindfulness.